Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name is Zion. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make these necklaces. So I've seen these necklaces like all over Pinterest and TikTok, like they're becoming really popular. And I was like, these are so, they look so simple to make. So I'm gonna try it at home because like people are selling them and I'm just gonna be a DIY queen and try it myself. So I figured out the perfect way to make these. Um, so I wanna share with you guys today so you guys can also make them at home. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the supplies you'll need. I got all my supplies from Michaels except the pliers. Um, but first I got my bead string and wire screenshot if you need to see the measurements or anything like that. Then I have my jump rings. Then I have my lobster clasp. Next time I would probably get smaller ones. And then I have my crimp beads. And all these beads that I got are from Michaels. My measuring tape. My pliers, don't mind how they look. My mom has probably had them for so long. And then normal scissors. So first I'm starting off with a necklace that I already like the width of and I'm measuring it, but there's charts online that you can look to see um, how long you should measure your necklace. Mine was 16 and a half inches. So then I'm just measuring off that with my beading wire. So then I just get my cramp bead and my jump ring and both put them both on the beading wire. I loop the beading wire into the cramp ring. And then I smash the crimp bead down with pliers. Now I just start putting the beads on my necklace. Once you have gotten all the beads that you want on your necklace, add another crimp bead, then add a lobster clasp and do the same thing with the beading wire, looping it into the crimp bead. Then again, I just clamp down the crimp bead. Now that the necklace is technically complete, I'm adding some final touches by clipping off the extra wire that is sticking out of the crimp bead. Um, if it does scratch your neck, I think you could just put tape around it. I don't think it will be a problem, but definitely let me know in the comments if there's any solutions to that. I did want to let you guys know that I've been re wearing the rainbow necklace for a while and the gold part has turned silver, which I don't mind, but definitely keep that in mind when you're buying from Michaels.
I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you make this at home. Bye guys.